the four.
It smells like cheese. Big Dolls, Poke the Monkey quilt covers and Poke the Monkey car covers. The dad who has everything, why not a Poke the Monkey tie and sports jacket? The lady of your life, why not Poke the Monkey? And for kids, the website is the Springing, springing Monkey. All available at PogoTheMonkey.com. Now, now, 10 minutes of music guaranteed. As soon as you wait through another 9 minutes of messages from our sponsors. Lips 106. I'm a marketing manager who lives in the suburbs and commutes. For some steamy hot trance music. in Liberty City calling into this show. I mean, people think that I have no feelings whatsoever. Exactly. A another perfect example. The other day, I'm over at the hospital to have lunch with my girlfriend, Sharice, and this maniac comes right up on my bumper, flashing his lights, and I'm like, hey, guy, the light is red. You can't just come up behind me honking and flashing your lights. Then he gets over this megaphone and says to the woman in the teal my Botsu monstrosity, please move to the side. Can you believe it? I mean, who has a megaphone rigged into their car? People are so obnoxious these days. And rude. I mean, I tell my nanny to teach my kids some manners. You know, I think that's a lesson to us all. All right, hello. Next caller, you're on Chatterbox. Hello, Laszlo. Ugh. Did that woman say she was a nanny? Because Freddy needs a nanny because he's been a very naughty boy. No, no nannies. Let's go to our next caller, all right. Colonel James T, United States Marine Corps, 2nd Battalion. Laszlo, that caller made a really valid point. These kids today have no respect for authority. And there is one thing that would whip them into shape. <laughs> Let me guess, the, the military. That's right. The military teaches you respect, obedience, and it gives you a good pitch. These kids that thought they were going to be millionaires, look where the super information highway has gotten them. Nowhere. It's a dead end. Uncle Sam takes care of his boys. And some girls. If more people would join the military, this would be a better country! And I tell you another thing about respect. These kids don't respect veterans. We fought for your freedom. When I came back from the Australia... Fight for our freedom, James. 
After years of fighting in the trenches, I come back here and everyone's watching TV. Now, can you tell me what this Australian-American war was? I mean, I really never heard of it. God, not another one. Have you read a history book lately, son? The Australian-American war was the biggest war since the big one. I tell you, I didn't do two tours. Name. My name is real unimportant. If you want to keep being a wise guy, you'll find out just how unimportant. Like, unimportant I just got shot in the head, unimportant. Do I make myself clear? Uh, yes. Uh, why are you calling in today? Because I need some advice. And I ain't doing any of that shrink shit. Uh, if you swear again, we're gonna have to cut you off. This is a family show. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm just a little unhappy, a bit agitated, real angry. It's my ma. She don't think I'm a real man. Can you imagine that? I mean, I do a man's job and all, but she treats me like a little boy. All I get is your pa this and your pa that and you ain't a real man. It's in a row. I used to fall unconscious for hours. Oh, my name was Tony. You're tracing this call? Because if you are, you're going to get real intimately acquainted with what your brains look like. My name ain't Tony. Okay? Uh, okay. But my mom, she keeps going, Tony, Tony, be a real man, stand up for yourself, don't take no shit. But all I do is to be a good son, and I want her to show that she cares for me, show that she loves me, and you know, say I was a good kid, but it seems like nothing's ever good enough for her, you know what I mean? What do I do? Well, Toad, I mean, sir, you know, in life we have a lot of obligations, and we just kind of have to face up to them. And right now, I'm obligated to play some commercial announcements. We'll be back right after this. We've got a new friend for everyone. He's got fur and a tail. He gets in lots of trouble, but he's a bouncy little fellow. Because he's got springs for legs. Pogo the Monkey, the best new video game for the whole family. I love you, Pogo. You found. Help Pogo escape from the evil research laboratory where the mean old scientist genetically altered him. Uh-oh, the pharmaceutical scientist is going to get you, Pogo. Here you go, Pogo. Have a gold coin. Good thing Pogo has a banana cannon. Those nasty scientists deserve to die. Now get the shampoo manufacturers before they squirt it in your eye. Here you go, Pogo. Have a diamond. You'll guide Pogo through tons of fun adventures, including saving Timmy, who fell down the well. Help! <laughs> Here you go, Pogo. Have a big watch. Rescue a cat out of that tree with your banana cannon, Pogo. Here you go, Pogo. Have a fast car. And help Pogo to his final mission. To storm the White House with his friends and become President of the United States. Pogo the Monkey is the game kids are sure to stare at for hours. Everyone loves Pogo. Idiot Gamer called Pogo the best spring and simian game since bouncing bananas. Buy the game Pogo the Monkey today. Right, Pogo? And coming soon, Pogo the Monkey card game, Pogo the Monkey plastic dolls, Pogo the Monkey quilt covers, and Pogo the Monkey... Has your marriage gone stale? Has the spark gone out of your love life? Looking to add a little adventure to the monotony of monogamy? Hello, I am Bernard.
this isn't a brilliant idea. All right, speaking of brilliant, you're listening to Chatterbox with me, Laszlo. Let's go over here to the phones and see what's plaguing Liberty City. Hello, caller, you're on the air. Wow, I got through. But uh, Laszlo, I think your last two callers are Come and eat, take it down, like Darth Vader Come and eat, take it down, like Darth Vader So we're gonna run up on speed, Darth Vader 